What's up y'all? As you can see out there, I'm out here at the range again, having some fun out here. Got a couple new tools I want to test out today. Got some pretty decent weather. It's a little chilly right now, probably like about 33, something like that. I was supposed to get up to the mid forties and no wind. So it ought to be a pretty nice day out here. As you can see by the title in the thumbnail, we're working with something that's a little goofy out here today. Almost a meme, if, if, if I'll be honest with you, but let me show y'all what we got. So as you can see, what we're working with here today is the Heritage Rough Rider Tactical Cowboy model. This thing has just been on the market, maybe be a little over a month i guess i would say y'all know i've got a bunch of these heritage rough riders already all kind of different sizes and models of them um i just i really like these things i think they're really really fun plinking tools out here for on the range now this one here is a six inch barreled model uh some of the differences on it, it's got these uh these fake carbon fiber looking grips which ain't too bad to be honest with you kind of fits the tactical name of it i guess it does have a nice fiber optic sight on the front of it now you can get to other models some of them with that fiber optic sight but uh normally it's just a, a blade of a, a steel blade side on the front but so it's got the fiber optic side on the front now some of the biggest differences is got a full-size pick rail on the top as you can see there and it's got a threaded barrel on the front now it just comes with a thread protector on the end of it i stuck this compensator on the front um and it also has a it comes with a standard black cylinder but i added this silver one i thought it kind of fit made it even more tactical looking you know also added on this little inexpensive firefield red dot to the top of it so should be pretty neat with that thing on top of it if for some reason there's somebody out there that's not familiar with the rough riders in general these are single action only 22 lr and you can get the 22 magnum cylinders for them uh just got the, the four click colt action on them it does have a manual safety which some people really don't like that but yeah, i don't mind it it's not that big of a deal but got a side loading gate on it so like i say single action only 22 revolver like i said it comes with just the black 22 lr cylinder and and y'all won't believe this but i brought one of my 22 mag cylinders but I did a stupid move and I just realized I didn't bring a single round of 22 Magnum out here. I can't believe I did that because I really wanted to try it with that compensator. Now, granted, there's no recoil anyway, but I just wanted to see if, if I could tell any kind of difference. I can't believe I did that. Totally left every bit of my 22 Magnum at the house. But we've got plenty of 22 LR out here. I brought a box of this auto match. I figured this auto match would be fitting since if y'all hadn't seen the latest punch video, go check that out. This auto match put on a show for sure. Also got the Rimfire Booms out here so we still gonna have some fun even though I, I messed up and didn't bring any magnum for the magnum cylinder but anyway enough of that chit chat and let me get everything set up and let's have some fun out here all right y'all let's see what we can do with this old tactical cowboy um i have bore sighted this a little bit at the house i'm probably pretty good on windage uh usually get pretty close with my bore sighting on the windage i'm not sure about the elevation though i'll probably be a little off on that but i got a paper target down there at 25 yards because that's about as far as i can see with this dot to be honest with you my eyes are so bad all my dots look like just outlines of some states or something instead of dots and circles but we should be able to get it done anyway so got six rounds of the federal auto match loaded up so let's see what we can do down there i'll put a group a six round group down there at 25 see what we get Alright, let me take a look and see what I can figure out what happened. Alright, seems like most of them was wanting to favor to the right over there in the group. As far as the elevation, the elevation is actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the average of it anyway. Um, and even the windage, I'm going to come down here to this 10 yard before I try to mess with anything. I probably won't even mess with it to be honest because uh, the windage right now, even if it's if it truly is hitting to the right, is good enough for my purposes out here today of plinking this steel. So I'm going to put a couple down here on this 10 yarder and see if I can tell where I'm at down here All right, that group up on the 10 yard was favoring to the right too. So I believe it is a little off to the right. So I'm gonna make a little bit of adjustment and move it left some. All right, y'all, I bumped my point of impact over to the left just a little bit. I'm gonna go on and get brave out here now. I'm gonna move on out to the 50 and the 75. The green one that you're gonna be seeing over here is 50. And then when we switch to the pink one, it's gonna be the 75. So let's see what we get out here, y'all. I might be getting too brave, but what the heck, right? Here we go with the 50. All right. All right. 
Ha. All right, that was all six of them at the 50. I missed one. I believe it's still uh, favoring a little bit to the right because I had to aim at the left shoulder once I missed that first one. So pretty good at the 50. Let me load this on up and go out to the 75. All right, let's see what we can do with the 75. Got a six more. I might really be pressing my luck this time. I probably will barely be able to hear it out there, but let's see what happens, y'all. No. There we go. All right. Yes, sir. Plinking them at the 75 with the Rough Rider. Miss that one. Got too cocky. Got the last one. I think that was the last one. Yep, that was the last one. I'm definitely having to hold high. I'm having to hold it about the head. I'm not sure where it's even hitting out there. All right, I'm gonna walk out there right quick and see where I'm hitting at and see if I might wanna make an adjustment and we'll go from there. All right, y'all, I'm really getting crazy now. I moved this on out there to the 100 yarders. I, I'm not feeling good about this one at all because like I say, I can barely see those out there as far as my point of aim. And then once this dot gets on it, it almost disappears, but we'll try it anyway, see what happens, y'all. Here we go, at 100. Ah, I got that one. Got that one. I was actually holding them too high out there. That was a weak load if I ever heard one. Got that last one. I think that was the last one, wasn't it? Yep. Hey, that ain't too bad. That's a hundred yards with a little six inch heritage rough rider. Those first ones that I missed, those first two was I was holding actually way too high. Let me load up six more before we move up closer. Well, let's try it at a hundred again, y'all. Let's see what we can do. Got him. That was a weak one. No. Got it. Got it. That was it. Not too bad, I'll take that. That weak load cost me one and I was actually still holding a little bit too low on this couple I missed, ain't a doubt about it. So let me move us back up here close and let's have a little fun up close. All right, y'all, I had to get my butt up off that bench and have a little fun up close here. I got six rounds loaded. I'm just gonna uh, check out this steel, see where we're at. Then I'll load us up some more and we'll work on that tree down there, see if we can flip them over. Well, let's try up close here first. All right. Twenty-five. I pulled that. That was it. Was that six of them? That was all six of them. Let me load this up another magazine. All right, y'all, this dueling tree is exactly like I expected. I just tried it. Ain't no way these 22 LRs is flipping those things around. No way. I don't know why in the world they claim that's a rim fire target because like I said, uh, those are 3 8 inch AR-500. That's a heavy little dueling tree target. It ain't no way. I don't even think even out of a rifle these LRs would move it. So I'm sick that I didn't bring my Magnums. I think the Magnums might have a chance of doing it. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all just so y'all don't think I'm, I'm trying to make excuses because I can't hit the thing. I'm only it, uh, I'm up here at four yards now. I moved this close to see if it will flip and it still won't. But check this out, y'all. It don't even budge it. I mean, you see, I hit it right there on the bottom. Hit the next one. Got the next one. Got that one. Let's go back to the top. It probably got the best chance. Not even. I mean, it didn't even budge them things. All right, y'all, let's try to end this thing out with a couple of booms. Now, I tell you, forgetting that 22 Magnum really put a kink in my plans today because I'll be honest with you, I'm really not feeling good about this setting off these booms even. Um, these things were moving, these automatics were moving subsonic even out of the TX-22. So out of a revolver, they, they're definitely subsonic without a doubt. But hopefully we'll get lucky. Let's see what we can do. I'll start with the outside ones.
All right, that's a good one. Took a couple shots on that one, but we got it. All right, let's try this middle one. I'm pretty close on this, so it ought to be a good one for sure. Just so y'all can see how picky these things are. Like I told you before, they picky. I'm gonna try to put it back up though. All right, I got it put back up. Let's see if there's enough in there to still set it off. That was definitely a good one there. All right, y'all, we're calling it right there for the old tactical cowboy. Things definitely didn't go as planned out here, but I still had fun doing it anyway. It bums me out big time that I forgot my dog on 22 mag ammo, but we'll be back out here with this thing having some more fun for sure. This thing ran absolutely perfect, just like all my other Heritage Rough Riders. I've personally never had a single issue with any one of my Rough Riders, and I've got a bunch of them, y'all. I think they're really, really fun range planking tools. I mean, a super bargain for what you pay for these things. Just a whole lot of fun. This tactical cowboy took it to the next level by being able to put a red dot on it as y'all can see out there at 100 i don't think that's too daggone bad for a, a heritage revolver you know out there planking at 100 and the misses were all me to be honest with you i was just uh ain't got my hole quite right i was holding higher and lower than i really needed to but i'll get out here and dial this thing in a little tighter and it'll probably be even better but y'all let me know what y'all think about this old tactical cowboy i know several of y'all out there have these heritage revolvers uh have you thought about picking this tactical cowboy up just because it's so different let me know down in the comments what y'all thoughts are if you enjoyed the video as always make sure you hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload new videos check my amazon storefront affiliate link down in the description like i ask you if you shop through amazon anyway hit that link up first go straight through amazon don't cost you any extra money and anything you buy anywhere on amazon after going through that link first i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really appreciate that appreciate all my range game members who reached out and hit that join button i appreciate every single one of y'all who's watching my channel watching my videos thumbs up subscribing to the channel and like i said leave me comments down below i'm really curious what y'all think about this tactical cowboy this is gonna be a shorter range day out here i got another new tool i need to do a video on and i'm gonna try to put together a couple little shorts videos and try my hand at those and see how that goes so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that stuff in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon